Hello everyone, uh, the purpose of this video is how to apply moment in Abacus, so stay tuned. In my case, I'm going to apply an equivalent load and moment as there was an experiment in which a concentrated load was applied to a base plate using a rigid body. To simulate that, you have two options. The first option would be defining a rigid body in the software and then apply the load, superior or inferior, uh, part of the rigid body with what whatever eccentricity you need to consider and the second option would be using equivalence load and moments at the center of the base plate instead of that one concentrated load so I'm gonna choose um, the second option uh, to show you how you can apply the moment uh, to do that you need to define a coupling feature at the interaction modulus and going to create constant uh, constraints part but first you need to define a coordinate system on your model to apply your moments and load according to that coordinate system uh, so what you need to do is going to tools bar and datum and choose a coordinate system type with three points method you can name it as loading and you need to Consider rectangular coordinate system type and then continue. You can choose first point that you need to choose is the origin, uh, your coordinate system, and then the second point would be the point on the x axis, and the third point would be uh, in the x and y plane, which in my case I uh, would consider this, and then uh, hit. Cancel. So the next step would be going to interaction modulus, as I mentioned before, and then uh, go to create constraint. Um, you can name it as moment or whatever you want, and then choose the coupling type and hit continue. Uh, so you need to select the const constraints uh, control point as uh, individually because we just need uh, one point. And I'm going to choose point that I want to apply the moment on that and hit done. So in my case, I need to uh, consider surface as a constant, uh, constraint uh, region type because it's a surface. And because I need to consider uh, the whole base plate for applying uh, the moment. Uh, so I'll choose by angle and choose the whole base plate surface and hit done. Um, and here uh, you can uh, choose the coordinate system and change the coordinate system as global to the coordinate system that you already defined. And uh, you need to check all the constrained degrees of freedom and uh, use the uh, kinematic coupling type and hit OK. So in this case, uh, the moment will be applied on the whole surface of the base plate or the model that you have, which I would suggest to do that, uh, which I would suggest you to do this because uh, it distributes uh, a moment on the surface that you want. So it will be more uh, realistic. So now that you've already defined the coupling feature, you need to actually apply the moment on the uh, point that you want. So you need to go to the load modulus and then go to create load. And from loading, loading step, you need to consider the moment type and then continue. So select point for the load, uh, you need to change it to individually because you just want to apply the moment at one point, which will be this in my case. Consider this and then hit OK. In the first place you need to apply, uh, you need to change again the coordinate system, the global coordinate system to the, coordinate, to the local coordinate system that you defined already. And uh, here you need to consider or uh, define the moment on your part. Uh, so in my case, I need to simulate an inferior, an inferior 
load on a rigid bar. Uh, so the moment uh, would be about uh, the positive x-axis, like here. And so the CM1 is the equivalent moment about the x-axis and CM2 equivalent moment about y and CM3 is equivalent about z-axis. So in my case, I need to apply Newton millimeter uh, and these two would be zero. So the moment is about uh, the positive x-axis here because my uh, load was applied here, inferior part of the base plate. And then you can hit OK. So as uh, it is illustrated on the base plate, uh, the moment is applied on the point. We can see uh, the final visualized model on the PowerPoint file uh, to get a better insight of how uh, the model will change uh, when you apply the moment. So this is uh, the sign of the moment that you can see here, uh, two arrows. So I hope this video will help you in your project, especially for students uh, that are currently uh, struggling uh, and are working on biomechanics projects. Please don't forget to subscribe our our channel to on YouTube and check our website uh, for new coming products. Bye.